Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about Bayes theorem with an example. In order to make you understand this, you should have some basic understanding about conditional probability. Please watch our previous classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's try to understand what's Bayes theorem, also known as Bayes rule, is a simple formula used to find conditional probability. So first uh, uh, we will discuss about uh, what's the equation, what's the formula says probability of A given B. If you want to identify a probability of A, if B is given means conditional probability that can be identified using this equation that is equal to probability of B given A multiplied by probability of A divided by probability of B. This is what Bayes equation says. Uh, how we got this equation? Let's try to understand with our previous knowledge which from our conditional probability. In our previous classes, we discussed about conditional probability. Probability of A given B is given as probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. Probability of B given A is given as a probability of A intersection B divided by probability of A. If you, if you move this probability of A to the other side, probability of A intersection B is given as probability of B given A multiplied by probability of A. Substitute here in probability of A intersection B. So from this equation, probability of A given B is given as a probability of A intersection B. In place of A intersection B, if you substitute probability of B given A, probability of A. We got it from this. Then we got the equation Bayes equation probability of A given B is equal to probability of B given A multiplied by probability of A divided by probability of B. This is how we got the Bayes equation like this. So you know, so when we are going to use this Bayes equation, Bayes theorem, uh, Bayes rule that we are going to understand with an example. The example will help you a lot in understanding uh, uh, how we are going to use the Bayes theorem. And one more important point you have to understand, if you want to identify probability of A given B, you should have the probabilities of this. Otherwise, we cannot uh, do that. Uh, so that's why these probabilities, we call it as probability of A, probability of B are called prior probabilities. Uh, so priorly, you have to need that probabilities and probability of B given A. This we call it as likelihood, how likely B occurred given A. If you have these probability values, then you can identify probability of A given B. This we call it as posterior probability. So these are the terminology we used in the Bayes theorem. With the example, how we got this prior probabilities and all those things, how we are going to identify this with real time example, we are going to understand. In a hospital from past collected data, in a hospital, you are going to collect the data from that past data, it was given that, 10% of the patients entering clinic has liver disease. Uh, this event we call it as probability of A, A, event A. So 10% of the patients entering the clinic are having liver disease, means probability of A is equal to 0.1. 5% of the clinic's patients are alcoholic. Uh, out of all the patients that come into the clinic, 5% are alcoholic. Uh, probability of B is equal to 0.05. We call this event alcoholic event. We call it as B. Probability of B is 0.05. Among the liver diseases patients, 7% are alcoholic. So among the liver disease patients, 7% are alcoholic. This can be given as a probability of B means alcoholic. If he is a liver, liver disease patient, that is given as 0.07. This is the data come from previously collected from the hospital. Hospital. Okay. So we got uh, we got the values. Probability of A, probability of B, probability of B given A. We can identify probability of A given B. Let's try to understand the question. This question is very important because most of the times you are going to identify this question in our public. If the patient is alcoholic, their chances of having liver disease, most of the alcoholic people will discuss this. So I am an alcoholic, what is the chance that I am going to get a liver disease? This is the question everyone will get. This is postulated as, this is given as probability of A. If he is an alcoholic, B means alcoholic. 
if you want to uh, do, give, give this uh, you have to from the previous data we can give the probability probability of a given b is equal to probability of b given a multiplied by probability of a divided by probability of b the probability of b given a from the previous data it is given as 0.07 multiplied by probability of a is 0.1 divided by 0.05 which is 0.14 means 14 percent chance that uh, alcoholic people is going to get a uh, liver disease that's why Bayes theorem is very very useful in data analysis because it is going to predict most of the things uh, Hope you understand what Bayes theorem is, when it is going to be useful. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.